In 2016, the Australian government invested $3.1 million over three years in an effort to reduce nitrogen runoff from sugarcane crops in the Burdekin region of North Queensland to the Great Barrier Reef. Using a methodology proven in the five years previous through RP20 trials, the six easy steps were applied. Due to the success of the pilot project, a further $7.1 million was invested in the repeated tenders. 35 Burdekin growers are supported to reduce their nitrogen rates below six easy steps and monitor yield performance. I think they used to be alright. They learned how to grow cane. They were told what to put, you know, like fertiliser or anything like that. And I think we just got into bad habits by putting too much on uh, for a while. I grew up here on the farm my whole life and it's, um, yeah, it's something I've really enjoyed and even as a, like a, a 10 year old kid, helping dad out on the farm and getting dirty, it's, uh, yeah, it's always been something I've been interested in and seeing the way it's changed over the years, even in the last 10 years. When dad was in, first started, we were putting on two bags to the acre of urea, 50 kilo bags. As we changed our practices, we then started to uh, use all of our assignment and replant, plough out, replant, and then we started using more fertiliser. Convincing growers to reduce nitrogen wasn't easy, with many sceptical of the impact on their crop yield. The heavy rates in some of the trials, some of our trials, were actually producing less. I, since I've done RP20, which was a precursor to the reef tender, um, yeah, I reckon I'm putting on probably close to 20 tonnes less of urea a year now. It works on all ground, like the six easy steps is definitely the way to go forward and um, some of us didn't think it was at the, at the start and it proved us wrong and we're glad that it did. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by you know, what I thought I had to do before and then cut back. I haven't seen a huge change, so, and I'm saving money by putting on less fertiliser. We can't just stop where we're at. We've, we've got to keep refining it to, to make it better, regardless of, of whether we think it's good now. If, if we don't make it better, we, we won't be around here. I'd like my children to be here. So. Backed by trials, monitoring and agronomic support, the significant reduction of surplus nitrogen fertiliser achieved has revolutionised the design of future projects. Whilst monitoring yield, growers reduced 702 tonnes of nitrogen. NQ Dry Tropics have been a real, real helping hand in that. By doing soil samples on every paddock, um, getting your water tested, and then getting that data together and then working out what's your best fertiliser to use instead of just using the same stuff that everyone else uses. Without them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be, you wouldn't see the GPSs, you wouldn't see our new implements, you wouldn't be able to, you know, just do things a little differently to see if it works, without a doubt. We're custodians of the land, so we've got to look after it. And I don't personally want to waste any money and that's what, if it runs off to the reef, that's all that's going to happen, is a waste of money. As farmers, we're environmentalists, that's the best way to describe this, you know, and it's not, it's about the environment, but if, if you can save money as a farmer, because we're business people as well, it's almost a win-win, so that's why you do it, you know, that's how I did it anyway. Last year's, we averaged, uh, for the farm, was 160 kilos of nitrogen per hectare, and that's, uh, you know, a big reduction on what I was using. There's always new technologies and new techniques and we're learning along the way, absolutely. But we're not the end yet, I'll guarantee you that. It's not just for our generation, but for generations to come. I mean, we want to look after the Great Barrier Reef. We want to look after our water and our soil and we want to keep farming a prosperous industry for the district that so many people love. The pilot tender proved a great crop could be grown with less fertiliser with benefits for the environment and business profits.